This presentation is a tutorial on how to draw graphs. Hopefully, by the end of the presentation, you'll be able to put the correct variables on the correct axes. You should be able to choose the correct graph for your data. And you should be able to draw appropriate scales and plot accurate graphs. Firstly, the basics. You will hopefully know this from middle school. Now your standard graph will have two axes. The y-axis, which is the vertical line, and the x-axis, which is the horizontal line. So what do we use the axes to show? Well, there are two variables shown on a standard graph. The independent variable, which is the variable you change or choose, and the dependent variable, which is the variable you measure. Now, if you are unsure about the difference between these two variables, please watch the previous presentation. So, which variable goes on which axes? Well, a way to remember it is to think of the link between graphs and babies. The thing you change is on the bottom. So when you are drawing graphs, just think of nappies. So how do you know what type of graph you should draw given that you have the choice between a bar chart and a line graph? Well, it all depends on what type of data you're presenting. More specifically, what type of variable your independent variable is. Now to work out what sort of data your independent variable is showing, you can use this flowchart and follow the steps through. Now if your independent variable is measured using numbers, it could be one of two types of variable, either continuous or discrete. Now a continuous variable can be any number can have any value. This includes going down to lots and lots of decimal places. Discrete, on the other hand, is when it can only be specific numbers. If your independent variable isn't a number, however, there are two more options for what type of variable it could be. It could be an ordered variable, or a categoric variable. Now if you can put the words which are used to describe your independent variable into an order, then it is an ordered variable. If you can't however, then it is a categoric variable. Now that is probably very confusing at the moment so we'll go through some examples to help make it a bit clearer. Now continuous and discrete variables are both when your independent variable is represented with numbers. A continuous variable is when it can be any number. Now examples could be height, speed, could be mass. Any of these variables can go to lots and lots of decimal points. It could have any value. On the other hand, discrete variables can only be specific numbers. For instance, the number of daisy plants. It can only be whole numbers. Shoe size is an interesting option. This is quite commonly given as a standard discrete variable. Now you might be thinking you can get half sizes of shoes and that's perfectly true. But 
it's only full sizes such as 7 or 12 or half sizes such as 5 and a half you can't have a size 6.325 it is only specific numbers specific values that you can have now if your independent variable is a non-numeric variable it could be ordered or categoric an example of an ordered variable is the sizes of cup now the sizes could be small, medium and large so your independent variable is represented by words but these words can be put into an order small, then medium, then large categoric variables on the other hand are again words rather than numbers but they don't go into any sort of order for instance colours red, blue and green they do not go into any sort of order Further examples could be the cars that the parents of your classmates drive. They're words rather than numbers and they can't be put into any specific order. So which craft do you draw? Well, if you have a categoric or ordered variable, so your independent variable is represented with words, then you should be drawing a bar chart. If your independent variable is a continuous variable, so it could be any value, any number, you need to draw a line graph and draw a suitable line of best fit. The confusing one is if your independent va variable is a discrete variable because then you have the choice of either a bar chart or a line graph. Now the easiest way to think about it and remember it is that if your independent variable is measured with numbers and it can be any number then you must draw a line graph. If your independent variable is any other type of variable then you should draw a bar chart.